What is going on, Jeromes? Merry Christmas, happy holidays coming up. Vikings playing the Giants, winter whiteout game, historic U.S. Bank Stadium on Christmas Eve at noon, and the Vikings are NFC North champions. They would like to keep pace, maybe for the one seed, if the Eagles can drop a couple, uh, like it's hot. Also, if the Vikings can, I don't know, hold on to that two seed, would certainly be kind of nice. But here are 10, 10 uh, keys for the Vikings to get a victory against the 8-5-1 and one New York football giants. Also, uh, so my, my son and I have matching pajamas for Christmas Day. It's going to be pretty good. It, it's going to be pretty good. I'll, I'll post uh, pictures about it. But uh, first up, number one for the Vikings. No emotional hangover. And we saw it earlier in the – hell, going back to the Minneapolis Miracle and then 38-7 in Philly. But going back to this season, Packers win week one. And then you do that in Philly. And then the emotional win in Buffalo. And then you do that against Dallas. No more. No, no, no mas. Also, you could say to a degree the win versus the Jets and then drop one against the Lions. But the Vikings, they have to bring their A game. Uh, the Giants are a playoff-worthy team in the NFC. This could be a, a future playoff matchup. Uh, so the Vikings absolutely have to bring their A game. And they, they got to know that they just can't coast through these last few weeks. They got to finish strong, have momentum going into the playoffs, and then go from there. Next up, number two, Fire Tibbs. Ah, so it's not Tom Thibodeau, it's Kevion Thibodeau, the number five overall pick in this year's draft. The rookie from Oregon is really starting to get things together, coming into his own. Had a strip sack touchdown uh, against Washington, which was the big difference in the game. Uh, 38 pressures, three sacks on the year. And he's really starting to come into his own. And Andre Patterson, their defensive line coach, yeah, remember him? Yeah, this is the Andre Patterson special where you take a guy that has all the physical gifts in the world, and now he's just starting to get it. He's just starting to get it uh, as a pass rusher versus just an athlete. And uh, he, he's going to be a problem. He's going to be trouble. Uh, but I have no sweat with Darisaw and O'Neal. Next up, number three. Give Saquon a lump of coal. All right, so Saquon, Pro Bowl running back, the pride of Penn State, is the entire Giants offense. He really is. Even though Daniel Jones is fine, uh, but 1,170 yards rushing, nine touchdowns this year, he is the Giants offense. He, he truly is. So uh, sell out to stop him. Stack the box. Make Daniel Jones try to beat you. Also uh, play a little bit more man on the outside. We'll get into that. But, uh, yeah, Saquon, wherever he goes, he's got to be bodied. And if you shut him down or if the Vikings offense puts up a number of points, the defense keeps the Giants out of the end zone and scoring points. And all of a sudden, you know, the Giants are down 14 plus points and Saquon gets taken out of the game because he doesn't even play on, on passing downs that often. So that, that would be the best way to go about it. Next up, number four, pick up the Giants blitz. So the Giants and DC Wink Martindale. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they're the number one blitzing team in the National Football League, and they've generated 32 sacks this year, and they saw the Colts get seven on Kirk Cousins, uh, so they're going to try and bring it. Like the, the defense is a little bit touch and go, but they're going to try and get that pass rush with Thibodeau, uh, with Aziz Ujolari, the pride of Georgia, who I loved, Jihad Ward, uh, the veteran Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence on the inside. That's going to be a big-time test for Austin Schlutman and Ed Ingram and Ezra Cleveland. Uh, and the offensive line's got to be ready. Kirk has to be ready to throw, get rid of that ball quickly. And Kevin O'Connell, he can't be calling these long developing plays, which was the issue uh, against the Dallas Cowboys. So, yeah, uh, blitz is coming. Just, just get ready for it. Next up, number five. Stay aggressive on defense. Uh, speaking of blitzing, the Vikings defense continues to they got to bring the thunder where all of the talk about, hey, Donna Shell, the performance against the Jets, the performance against the pa Patriots, the performance against the Lions, it was no bueno. But they finally got aggressive. They got after it, man. It's something that we've been saying they need to do for a long time. And we need to institute a 40-40 rule. 40% man coverage, 40% blitzing. Just generate that pass rush. Let Zadarius and Daniil and Wanham and everyone go out and get after it. And also, a Duke Shelley in for Cameron Tiny Dancer. Uh, in all likelihood, with Dancer ruled out with that ankle injury. So, or a questionable with that ankle injury. Uh, so Duke Shelley, I mean, he's proven that he is that guy in man coverage on the outside. Uh, so let let the corners play press and then blitz the hell out of Daniel Jones all day. Next up, number six, Jefferson stays in the MVP race. And for my money, he should be top three in the MVP race right now. It should be Jalen Hurts, who is hurt. And then you have Patrick Mahomes, and then you have Justin Friggin Jefferson in no particular order. And Jefferson is leading the NFL with 111 catches, 1,623 yards receiving. Uh, Dory Jackson, their number one corner, is still out. Uh, so JJ could have a field day on the Giants secondary, which hasn't performed well as of late. The Giants are 29th overall in total defensive DVOA. They're dead last in the NFL in defensive coverage PFF grade. Uh, and Jefferson, hell, he might hit 2K against the Giants. Uh, he, he may break Megatron's record in 15 games. Which, which you would love to see, man. Next up, uh, number seven. 
Dalvin dashing through the snow. All right, so, I mean, Dalvin, this might be his last year in purple, but he's certainly going out with a bang. He's making big-time plays and big-time games. That's what big-time players do. And Dalvin always seems to show up for these big special games. Um, I mean, this is not a standalone game, but uh, it's the white-on-white -white Christmas Eve. He's going to bring it, man. And the Giants' defense is 30th in the NFL in rushing yards allowed, uh, 32nd in yards per carry at 5.4. So number 444 four, four, uh, may have himself a, a ball game on a Saturday. Next up, number 8, Kirk stays frosty. That's right. And, and it's a home game, so no Kirko chains, but, I mean, come on. C come on, man. Uh, Pro Bowl quarterback Kirk Cousins to you, by the way. The best half of football that – We've seen set NFL records uh, in the second half in overtime against the Colts. He needs to keep on this momentum. And if Kirk playing at this high level, you can win the Super Bowl with him. Absolutely, you friggin' can. So if the defense comes to play, Kirk and the offensive line are in sync. Justin Jefferson is still going off. Dalvin is keeping the pass rush down. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a fantastic day. That's going to be our Christmas gift. Next up, number nine. We after that ass, Daniel. Yeah, that's right. We're, uh, so Daniel Jones... You could say that he's a draft bust, but Brian Dayball coming in has sort of cleaned up his season. Absolutely a respectable 90.5 PFF grade. Uh, excuse me, a 90.5 quarterback grade. 90.5 PFF grade would be like a record or something. Uh, only four interceptions, but does have five fumbles. So if the Vikings can get pressure, like he, he will serve it up. Like He will make a mistake. He'll throw a pick. He'll be careless with the football. He will fumble. So the Vikings, I mean, the pass for us, Zedarius, I mean, Zadarius Daniel, it seems like uh, it's been a long time no eat. Uh, I think they can feast. They can have abs an absolute Christmas feast with the roast beast on Daniel Jones down in Hoosville. Ooh, that's right, man. Uh, lastly, uh, number 10, revive the special teams. So special teams had been phenomenal the first part of the season, but as of late, it's been boop. <laughs> Not so much. Where you had punt coverage has been erratic. Kick coverage has been erratic. Uh, got a fake punt uh, run on you against Detroit. Got a punt blocked on you uh, against the Colts. But, I mean, that might be personnel. But also that comes down to coaching. I mean, new guys in new spots. Guys are going to come in due to injuries or illness. They got to know what they're doing. So, they got to get back after it. I mean, Joseph has been really good, knock on wood. Ryan Wright has been a beast all season, should be an all-pro, by the way. Uh, but it feels like now is the time to, to just bust bust one i mean a, a nice punt return king kenny bust his second touchdown of the season would absolutely love to see it and don't let them gain another yard on returns next up or lastly predictions i mean last saturday's game was stressful i mean let, let's be honest i mean it was a complete roller coaster of emotions from the first half to halftime to second half and overtime all, all that stuff but uh, i think this game there's going to be no doubt i think the vikings they understand that they have to handle their business the giants eight five and one are still a good football team they're going to be in the playoff places in all likelihood uh so they got to the Vikings got to come in. They got to show up uh, for the whiteout game. And I think that they certainly do. Give me Vikings 41, Giants donut. Okay, maybe not. May give me Vikings 37, Giants 10. And just the Vikings finally get themselves a signature win. They finally amp up that point differential. And they prove to all the haters and the losers, like, hey, Hey, we're more we're more than just getting down 33 nothing against the Colts. Like we can take care of our business and we'll keep pace for the 1 seed if Philly loses. We'll keep ahead of the Niners for the 2 seed and we'll just go from there, man. Uh, I think the Vikings finally play themselves a complete game on Saturday. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, take a look at the Vikings Giants preview, 10 keys for a Vikings victory. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time. Skull production value.